Hi, welcome back to Mutsumi Nisim. My name is Katrin Omutsumi or Katrin Odin. However do you call me? Please welcome to my channel. So I already subscribed to a few boxes and one of them is the Doki Doki box by Japan Crate. Um, it's a box where you can get kawaii stuff, cute stuff from Japan. And what I like about this box especially is that they usually pack it with stuff that you can use. Um, like before they send you like a small rug that you can use in front of your bed or even in front of a door or something. Or um, some stationery sometimes, a few little uh, cute plush tears dolls. Um, they, they rarely have stuff like keychains and so on, like other crates, other boxes. So yeah, I, I really prefer this one. So yeah, let's check the January one. So this is the box. I really like the design. They ship it in this box. It's very pink. It's very bright. It's uh, very kawaii, very on spot for the theme. And yeah, it says the name in Katakana, Doki Doki. And in Romaji, Doki Doki by Japan Great. Um, the illustrations change every month um, and they try to have a theme for every month. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see the Happy New Year one. And talking about Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Yeah, it's January, it's 2021. Uh, 2020 is finally over, yay. So yeah, this box says the same. Doki Doki Great, Happy New Year, 2021. And it says the same in Japanese. Akemashite omedeto gozaimasu. Which, yeah, means Happy New Year in Japanese. Okay, let's have a look inside. So when you open the box, this is the design. It's, yeah, <laughs> I hope you can see it fine. Uh, this is the inside. I really love the design. I even like the inner design more than the outer design. Um, it says Doki Doki all over it and Fua Fua, which means, well, Fua Fua is like a soft feeling um, of toys, for example, plush dolls. Um, yeah, and just a general feeling of, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you open it, the first thing you usually see is a tiny pamphlet. Um, like I said, on the box cover, the illustration changes every time. I think they are using different people. Um, I already credited them inside. Um, yeah, cover art by Tomo, which is Tomo Kosu on Instagram, if you want to check this out. Yeah, it's a really cute girl wearing a kimono with a kitsune on her shoulder, a fox. Yeah, and it says Doki Doki January 2021. I usually look at this at the end um, because it basically describes everything that's in the box. And yeah, I want to have a look first before I see it in the pamphlet. I want to see the real thing first and touch it. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I see when I open this box is this. Yeah. It's a Kitsune, a fox. Um, which you can traditionally see in Japan on uh, shrines, temples, um, wearing this cute little thing. Um, yeah. Shiro Kitsune no Igurumi. No Igurumi means plush doll. This is really cute, it's really soft. It's fua fua. Um, yeah, you can squeeze it. And it's a very cute shape. But also, this is the back side. Ta -da. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very cute. I really like plush dolls. I have, I have a ton. So if you want to see some of my collection, please let me know. I would likely share a video of my collection. Um, yeah. So as I said, you can find them on shrines, and the tag says the same. Shiro Kitsune. There's a shrine. Entry. It says Noigurumi. It's by Yell. I don't know Yell, but it's the company that made this cute thing. Yeah, it's really adorable. And I think you can, no, you can't. I thought you can take this off, but yeah, you can't. So I shouldn't. Okay, next. Ta-da! It's a small Kudetama. It's 
very squishy as well. And it's uh, one of those egg rolls. I don't know if it's easy to see. I don't think so. Yeah. Gudetama is a mascot that looks like an egg. Um, it's very lazy. It's a very lazy egg. Um, and I really love the design. Over here it says Gudetama as well on the tag. Ta -da. Yeah, and there's a tiny leaf, a harp. Top of this is by Sanrio. You can see it's an original of the Sanrio sticker. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cute. I love Gudetama, so I'm glad to have this. It's very small, so you can just decorate anything with it, even set it to your plants or anything. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's really cute. It will look good everywhere. Okay, so next we have a spoon, or like they call it a lepoon. Um, I will want to close I think every one of you knows that this is Sanrio as well. Um, little twin stars. Um, yeah. The design is really, really cute. And it, I don't know, I think you know those spoons you use for ramen. Um, they're pretty deep and you can set the ramen noodles inside and then eat from the spoon. I think if you haven't done it yourself, you, you saw it in a movie or anime or whatever. Those spoons are called um, renge or not spoon. And the Japanese, of course, use normal spoons as well and they call them spoons. So this one is a mix of both. It's um, yeah, a fusion of a renge and a spoon, which is why they called it le poon. The renge and poon from spoon. Le poon. Yeah, I think this is a very cute idea. Yeah, it says one point. Um, renge yori mochi yasui. It means that you can hold it better than a traditional renge spoon. And um, because mochi te ga nagai, because the yeah, the place where you hold the spoon, this part is longer than it's usually for a renge, so it's easier to grab, easier to hold. I don't know if you can see this. Everything is written down on the back. Yeah. And point two is spoon yori squiyasui taksan hairu. So it means like a normal spoon can't grab that much of soup or rice or whatever you're eating with it. But um, this one is a little deeper over here. So it fits more than a regular spoon. So it's better than a spoon, it's better than a denge. So a lepoon is the thing to have. And it looks so cute, so it's right in the front and turquoise on the back. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is really cute. This is what I said in the beginning, like they sent you stuff that you can actually use. And yeah, that's what I love about this box. I think I'm close to a one year subscription already. Yeah, I think so. And yeah, I can't see myself cancelling it anytime soon. So, if you want kawaii stuff that you can use, this box is it. Next we have this. I'm closer. So you can see it's Sumiko Gurashi. Which is from Sanex, not Sanayo. And it says mini bedo kroku. So it's a mini bell clock. It's a tiny clock, you can see on the back, over here. ta -da! Here you go. This is it. It's not, not even that mini, like if you compare it to my hand, it's almost as big as my hand. So, I wouldn't even call this mini, it's a normal sized clock. Um, it's an alarm clock. Okay. Are the batteries inside? I don't think so. No. So, yeah. But it only needs one battery. That's not much at all. I really like those. I hate it when everything needs two of them. And all of them need the same, even though you usually have two at home or none at all. Yeah. So it, it looks easy. It says on and off. Um, one battery. And yeah, yeah, it looks really easy. 
I'm looking forward to see how it sounds. But actually, I am not using alarm clocks like this one. Um, I'm using my smartphone like most of us, I think. Um, and yeah, I'm an early bird and I don't really need an alarm clock. Only if I really have to go up before, like say, before 6 a.m., then I should use an alarm clock. But if it's okay if I get up at 7, I don't really need an alarm clock. I will get up by myself between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., so I guess I'm lucky. But still, I will probably use this for decoration. And now the last thing. This. As you can see, this is Fuji, Fuji-san. The mountain, the volcano, the most popular one in Japan, I think. All of you know this, especially if you're watching this video, which means you're interested in Japanese culture, so if you don't know Mount Fuji, there's something wrong. So this is actually... I was wondering what this is, because this looks like, I don't know, a letter or something, but it's not. It's actually a mask case. As you know, all over the world we have an issue right now and we need to wear masks. And um, yeah, mask cases are not that common yet. I don't know where people put their masks, but some put in tiny bags or plastic bags or something. Um, so yeah, this one is a really thoughtful and very cute part of this box, I think. And yeah, the little Fuchis are really cute. And if you look at the back, you can see there's a certificate for the mask. It was, it's not just a mask case. There's a mask inside as well, and yeah, they, they have the health certificate that it's okay to use this on your skin, on your face. Yeah, I'm really happy about this one and I will probably use it this week already. So whenever I go out next, I don't know when, maybe when I have to get groceries, I guess. So that's it, that's basically what's inside the box. So now that I touched everything and looked at everything and at myself, um, I will have a look at the pamphlet that was inside that I put um, away at the first second. So this is it. Again, the cover art, very cute. If, I, if you open it, you can see what's inside the box. Yeah, everything that I just showed you. The mask case actually have um, different designs. So. There's a chance you will get a different design, not the fuji song. Yeah, there's one with cats all over it. I would have preferred that one. <laughs> but yeah, Fuchis are cute too, I guess. Yeah, Kitsune Plush, Kodotama, Odetama, Sumiko Gurashi Alarm Clock, Little Twin Star Spoon, and traditional print mask case. It also mentions a lottery thing they have going on each month, which is the Suteki crate. So if you will um, subscribe to one of their boxes, you automatically, um, yeah, your name goes into a lottery box and yeah, you have a chance to win more cute stuff every month as well. Here's also a tiny Happy New Year message on the next page over here and a photo contest and promotion for their online shop. So, the Happy New Year message says, Happy New Year, ring in the new year with Doki Doki Crate. This month's crate is all about a fortunate and lucky Happy New Year with many traditional appearing items you often find in Japan around this time of the year. Yeah. The photo contest is actually about, like, if you um, take a picture of the box, you can win more stuff, more stuff of the, I think this would take a crate as well. Yeah, if you use the hashtags and post yourself or uh, which is it's very popular to post your stuff with pets and stuff so yeah just post a pic on social media with the hashtags and you basically you're in for the lottery and their online store they sell um, foods and tiny merchandise yeah it's Sugoi Mart you probably have heard about it before and the last page says Domo Arigato which means thank you in Japanese. And it shows a few photos of those who posted pictures of themselves with the, with the um, December crate or even, this could be the November crate too, I'm not sure to be honest. 
Um, but yeah, as I said, pets are very, very prominent, very popular. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. That's the box. I'm very happy with the January box. Again, like, I don't know which is my favorite. I think my favorite is actually the Lepoon. Because it's a cute idea. It looks cute. And yeah, I will use it regularly. I also like the tiny Gudetama one. Because I know I can put it somewhere. And yeah, well, I really like it. I like yellow. I like Gudetama. I like cute stuff. So yeah, it's easy to decorate with tiny things, I guess. Yeah, it will, it will look really cute. Yeah, so those two are my favorites. Even though the kids on the Flush is really cute. It's just, um, I don't like the material of it, I guess. It's, it's very soft, but it also feels like, I don't know, nothing that I want to cuddle with. I can't describe it, but it will, it will look cute. <laughs> Let's say it will look cute. I won't use it to squish it or something, um, but it looks cute if it's somewhere. And I know that there are many people who like those kids and the foxes a lot. So yeah. Let me know what your favorite item is of this box and I would be happy to hear about your opinion and if you subscribe to one of boxes too. I don't know, I have this one, I have a food one with snacks and savory stuff um, and I also have a makeup subscription box. Not Japanese makeup, makeup in general, but I really like the idea of subscription boxes and yeah, it's not possible to go to Japan right now, so I'm really happy that every month there will be a tiny bit of Japan that is coming to my house and I can look at the cute stuff and not only cute stuff, useful stuff too, so yeah, it's a box that I won't cancel anytime soon and yeah, let me know your favorite item, like I said, leave a comment, like my video, share my video and I would love to see you subscribing to my channel. So, yeah. See you again. Have a new year. Have a, have a happy new year. Bye.